Hi friends, and we've eaten around with a new recipe. <laughs> of course, <laughs> I will make a raw strawberry cake tonight, and my friends are coming tomorrow, and it is um, a wonderful spring season. I mean, you all have noticed, and uh, strawberries are out, and there, and um, yeah, I can't wait to make my first strawberry cake this year. I thought about a very simple recipe, but it is still rich because I got cashews, vanilla, and there is always a little bit of almonds for the for the for the crust. You see, I begin with the crust, one and a cup, one and a half cups of almonds, the dates. I have one, maybe one cup of dates, pressed dates, pitted, and some salt for that. All that will go into just a little pinch. I'm um, just going to go into this spring tart form. Roll it a little bit with um, paper, parchment paper. to get the, the cake off easily. That's what I'm going to give you first. It's very simple. So you have to just have this um, food processor fitted with the S blade. And just put the uh, almonds in at first. Be done first, otherwise, it will break down that fine. It's just lifting the flavor, the original flavor of the other ingredients a little bit. And now we make the dough. And that took some time. I took you off for a while. But here, maybe uh, three minutes or so, or maybe four, you have this dough now, and it is it is good if you have, can press it like this, and it begins to stick together. It shouldn't be turned into a marsh pain. That shouldn't happen, because then you have very thick dough, and it is not so nice anymore. It should be a light, light and fluffy dough, and you can now decide the texture about the texture. I would put, first of all, I put all the dough into my form. I scrape it off with my little um, scraper here. See? <clears throat> and then the first I do is spread it evenly over the, the form, see? And then, once I have it where I want it, I begin to press a little firmer, like this. And then, once it is all in its place, then I begin to press down with a little bit of force, with my fist. Now I make it a little crust. That's important. Because uh, you don't want to have uh, the crust fall apart on your fork if you eat the cake. It should be firm, but it should not be too firm. That's the little tricky part here. If you do, if you make it, do it for the first time, you will be glad to hear this advice. If you are uh, already experienced making a dough from nuts and dates, you will skip this part. And you know everything. You just move on to the next part with your cursor. But well, I'm done. Almost. Make it nice, firm. 
And if you use the raw almonds without soaking and dehydrating them before, then you will notice then um, after a while of processing them, um, the food processor will uh, turn a little bit wet inside and they get warm and the oil comes out of the nuts. That is okay, it's not bad, but you can avoid it. As I said, if you soak the nuts overnight and dehydrate them again, and you don't have the, the oil will stay in the nuts and it is a little bit more elaborate, more subtle. But it is okay if you don't. As I did now, I have not so much time today, so I will do it without soaking the nuts. It's okay. They are in a liquid here anyway, for the cake and the process of making the nuts more digestible will take place anyway when the cake is sitting and it will sit a little bit till my friends are coming for 12 hours or so that's enough for the nuts see this is what the dough looks like the crust it's firm pretty firm and um, I can wait for the for the for the cheesecake. For the cheesecake I need here, um, I have here the, the strawberries. Maybe I have uh, two pounds, uh, one pound of strawberries. Ah, they are so delicious already. A month ago I tried one, didn't taste like strawberry. Now they're really strawberry-like. Otherwise it's not worthwhile making a cake of it. Not so good flavor. But first what I do is, I put some dates, here I have around 50 or 20 dates for that, into my blender. And um, I have here some cashews, a um, bit more than a cup. I soak them in water, just a couple of hours. And I will use the, the soaking water from the, from the nuts for my dates. I should use as little water as possible, at the same time, to make the, the cake firm. At the same time, I want my dates to be very fine. Yeah, I, I maybe I put some water back and see if I can do with less. Because the least water, you can always add it later. And I put the lemon juice. I have two lemons here, squeezed. And uh, a little bit of the zest, the zest, put that in. Now I will make a date mousse that will add first flavor and second firm, firmness <coughs> to the cake, to the, to the filling. Turn it over 
Blender do its work, otherwise you can get them troubles. <laughs> and if I use the food processor, it won't be that fine. I like a very fine stru structure. Tablespoons of coconut mousse. I liquefy a little of hot water. Here's the hot water. Here I put the uh, coconut mousse. And now, uh, after blending everything, put it in. I do it at first, it firms up immediately and um, won't mix into the um, into the into the, uh, the filling. I have to do that in the end, the very last moment. I can kind of combine everything. And the coconut is amazing uh, for the flavor of this cake, the strawberry cake also. Really, it's a wonderful combination. I like it a lot. Let's see if I can do it without the plunger. Otherwise, I have to do it again. I need the plunger again. Let's see. <laughs> See, and it will cool down, and then I hope you turn into a nice firm cream. You come back to my cake, my form, and just pour it in it is, as it is. This is the right quantity, right amount for this um, tart form, spring tart form. It's about 20 centimeters, a little bit more maybe, diameter, diameter.
So one advantage of this kind of blender that you have a pretty large bottom. See, the bottom here is pretty large. So you can go down with your spoon or the scraper and get down and get out all of the, the, the gentle uh, the mousse and the cream that's inside. Other blenders don't have this advantage. They are narrow on the ground and then you can't get it out. And that is a little bit frustrating, especially if you have these precious nuts and fruits. You can't use it for your cake, whatever you do. So I, that's one of the reasons I choose this blender. So, I'll make it a little bit more beautiful. But this cake, wow, doesn't need to be shaped more beautiful because it is so delicious, it has such a wonderful ingredients, fillings, and, and here you see this is my cake. It will be a big, big <laughs> strawberry cake. I'll put some strawberries here. I'll, I save some strawberries. Once it's firmed up, put them on top in slices, and it's beautiful. Friends, have a wonderful day. I see you very soon.